Everything get ready for winter, the power washer. The air compressor I'm going to need tomorrow when I close cabins down, so I will show you how to winterize that at a later date. The power washer... What do you use this for? Uh, blowing out water lines. Oh, got it. So we don't freeze up. The pressure washer, take and run through. I take and put in... I can get something here. I take out as much gas as I can out of, out of the tank. I take stable, I put one to two ounces, and one ounce if it's about half full, and that should be enough on it. I take one ounce of the stable, put it in, get it back on. It must, must, must be hooked up to a water hose. And that water hose, use those water hoses that are in there, and they're rolled up, do not use the regular water hose unless you're real, real, real particular about getting the sand out. The last motor was wrecked up here and it cost a lot of hassle. Get the hose, hook it up on there, get it ready to go. I don't even hook up the hand hose. Now the water hose is here, the hand hose is here. Start it. Do that one more time. Yep. The water hose is right here, hook it up, make sure there's no sand, make sure there's no sand in the hose because a lot of times the hose is laying there and the rain will rain in, it will splash sand into the water hose. You get very, very, very particular because this pump is works off of friction and it's going to cause some issues. This is where you put your hand held hose for putting on for spraying. Okay. Starting, there is the on, there is the off, so it's on. on. Take to choke, choke it, and start it. Now, I cleaned this all out yesterday. I ran it dry yesterday, so I let it run as long as it did. There's gas in the gas uh, in the carburetor, so it's all been cleaned. Again, I put the stable in, and the reason I'm burning all the gas, in case there's something left in there, it's protected, and we don't have gummed up. The carburetor, the jets can get plugged up, and then we have issues. So I ran it, ran it dry, after it's dry, shut everything down. Then a very important part is you have to go back into the lower part of the power washing, which is here is the pump. This has, and I've got it loose now because I had it out yesterday. Number one, this is brass. You have to be very particular with it because brass will strip very easily and cause issues. I make sure and air dry that, and I air dried it for a day and a half to make sure everything's dry. When it's off like this, I pull it over to make sure everything's clean. There is nothing left in this pump. If I leave water in the pump, it will freeze, it will expand, it will break. And then you're talking about 280 bucks. What tells you there's no water in the pump? Um, by drying down, by that. pulling it over. And here again is the lower chamber of the pump. There's no water, but I, I did all this yesterday. Kept pulling it, making sure it is. So water came out until you bet. it, it you stopped. Bet. Okay. You bet, and off there. And I also tilt it back to make sure that everything is taken care of. Like I said, I air dried it in the sun for a day and a half and made sure it's taken care of. Putting this back in, just put it back in if you want. I always take it out and keep it out over the winter time and put a piece of cloth in there just so nothing crawls in it. But I think at the lake what we'll do is for simplicity's sake, put it back in so we don't lose it. That has to go on. I hand tightened it as best I can, and then I take an eighth of a turn with a wrench to tighten it in. Eighth of a turn at the most. Okay. That is done. Okay. Winterizing the mower. Um, this is brought, Ryan brought this up for us, and it's for sure it's been here. But right now, uh, I mow, somebody mowed, somebody, I think maybe Ryan mowed the first time. I mowed the second time, and I think that's all we mowed up here is twice. So it doesn't get used a lot. It's important to get to keep that gas out of here so it doesn't settle out into here also. 
uh, when I went to winterize this, I couldn't get it started. So what I did is I took it out again. Now this is a compression, this is just a primer. And by priming it, getting the gas in, there's gas in here. Again, I take some in here and I take one to two ounces again of the stable and put in here at the gas. I prime it through it and I usually run it through. It would not start. The reason it won't start is this gasket is bad on this mower. And I will take that off later on. There's a screw under here. Take it off. That gasket is bad. It'll have to be replaced whenever, next spring, whatever. To get it started, I took the spark plug wire off, took the plug out, put three drops of gas into it, put everything back in, put it back on, and it started right up. Okay? Ran it dry. Just Even left. with the bad gasket? Yes. It can Once it's primed out, it, it, it'll go by. But you can actually see it sucking air in, out of this gasket. Mm -hmm. And that'll have to be replaced next year. Taking care of that, get that all done. The air filter, pop this pops right off and, and it comes off and just clean the filters, what you gotta do, put it and put the mower away. And cleaning filters is just wiping them out with something? Uh, no, take gas, the gas that you use for it and squeeze it out, it's a sponge, hmm. and then let it air dry. And it takes all the particulates out of it. So that's all you gotta do. Again, this gas, it's, on this carburetor, it's gonna have to be replaced because it's bad. Um, and that's where we're at.